Hey guys and girls, this is Garden Overkill with episode number 20. I really think it's already episode 20 of the adventures of Graydon, the Eski hero of the next generation and also male level 24 Grey Elven Assassin. So here we go. Start back into the game and as you all will remember in the last episode Graydon entered the dungeon of the of the frost giant Jarl Hagar, who the Ice Queen wants him to kill. So, uh, Graydon fought his way down through the dungeon. He even managed to clear the outer uh, areas of a greater undead vault, while not uh, daring to uh, attack the uh, the inner circle with the uh, Emperor Lys and everybody. Well, and finally he uh, he left the, he left the level and entered the the bottom level of the dungeon. And here he will now try to find Hagger, who is in the center of this frost creature vault that we just found. So, but I would like to probably first check the rest of the level. Teleport over here. I should not forget. We found out. Quite clever to make use of our ranged weapon capabilities with the rune cover trident. Well, we should be able to get them a little better, hopefully. Come on. If I remember yesterday, I thought we were doing better with the rune cover trident, but well. Let's eat a frost giant corpse. Probably that will help. Probably not. Met oh, that looks fine. I want to know that's an Eternium Girdle, ain't it? Yes, it is. Plus four Eternium Girdle, but that's the same that we already had. So let's rather stay with the Girdle of Carrying, at least for a while. This is an Eternium Mace that we might also at least sell. A Marble Amulet, that's a lot of nice stuff that is just laying on the ground here. So, time to enter the vault. We have not been able to catch it this time. White baby dragon cows. Probably we just eat it because I can now say for sure that we have got intrinsic cold resistance. This guy is down. Hit him. Um, good. Shoot them. At the moment we're fighting with just one weapon style because I want to make excessive use of... Uh, of... Uh, oops, did I not pick that up? Of our room-covered trident. We're not doing an overwhelming amount of damage against these giants. That's probably also because we do not have slaying ability against them. Because the rune covered trident just slays undead and demons, if I'm not wrong. But especially its demon slaying ability makes it incredibly valuable. Oh, crap. These guys seem to be tougher than the ordinary ones. At least I'm very sure that the ordinary ones could not stand so many attacks with the Loom Cover Trident. Well, at least that's nice training, ain't it? Yep, we have almost reached level 8 in Throne Spares. Ha, huh, now we've got it. Level 8, excellent! Plus 16 to hit plus 12 damage. Ha! Nice. Oh, our giant strength is uh, going away. Okay, now we're strained again. Well, cannot change that, I guess. Good. 
I want to read the scroll of great identify one of them to find out what exactly the rune cover trident can do. Undead and demon slayer as I thought. Oops, my mistake. Wrong button. Returns when thrown, grants uh, sea invisible, immunity to cold, and water breathing. That's quite cool, I think. Oops. I would rather not. Oh crap. Surrounded. I think we should change to two weapons. Well, probably not. We should change to defensive tactics and try to kill the elemental. Hopefully not get hit. Meanwhile... Ah, oh, luckily that worked. Finish him off, come on. Good. I'm not afraid of these baby dragons. They just give us a nice supply of money to sacrifice on the altar on our way back out. I think from level 9 we get even more range with our throne spare. We're playing this very, very carefully at the moment, but I think that's not a bad idea. And as I said, it's also good training for our spare skill. Well, let's attack them from the other side. I keep throwing, but I think against only dragons I can do that. Quick way. So, come on. Oh, oh okay, the giants, they hit us. Let's try to finish them off and def ah, hit again. Defensive mode is what I wanted to say. I'm quite sure that the the uh, monsters from this vault at the bottom are stronger than the ones we fought before. What did they drop? Crystal small shield, arrows and quarrels, potion of invisibility, lots of money, and our rune covered trident. I'd like to check out how far we could throw it if we wanted. Whoa, that's quite a lot. And smash him, come. Very good. Frost Giant Berserker. One more of these. Should be okay. Oh, got hit. Oh, got hit again. Do we still? Ah, oh, no, we do not. I want to wear our necklace of rapid healing again. Get our health points back a little quicker. Let's eat this large ration also. I don't want to get hungry while fighting frost giant berserkers. Oh, nice hit. One that we could kill from a distance. Good. It's quite cool that we can now throw a longer distance than we can watch. Not so cool that this uh, frost giant hit us really heavily. Come on, down 
here. Uh. Good, one is dead. Yeah, if we get something, get a critical hit in, they are extremely screwed. Oh man, stop that. <gasps> Eat a frost giant. Frozen meat. We do not get strength increases here, which is the reason because we are, are already at our potential maximum. Okay. Do we need potential learning? Potential charisma? I drink the potion of potential charisma. There's no, re no reason to take that around, carry that around. I also drink potential learning. Potential mana. Oh, that was one thing that I saw. We d are out of teleportation charges, so I'll use. No, potential mana doesn't help for teleportation, but I'll recharge it anyway by dipping it into a potion of. Have we got anything better than boost? Some boost mana, for example, or only mana? Nope, apparently not. So let's dip it into a potion of boost. So. They're giving us three more castings of teleportation. That makes me feel a lot safer. Come on, kill him. Good. Oh, fuck. Ah, nice. Glad we could kill this guy. I want to kill the other one first. Anyway, come on, good. Ah, uh, stop hitting us, please. You. Head in. Well, more or less, at least we kind of weakened them a little. And metal armor, good to sell. Okay, let's just hit the one. Okay, we've got three of them on our heels now. Oh, could we outrun them? Where are they? Good job. Kill him. Excellent. Oh! That hurt. Take care. Take care, Graydon. There is no need to take any unnecessary risks. Black Dragon Scale Mail. Oh, wow. Cool. I really don't remember which intrinsics we had. Red Dragon Scale Mill gives us fire immunity. Uh, the we have got the Ring of Elemental Mastery and I think it gives us all resistances but one. I'd like to know which one this is, so I'll use the other scroll of Great Identify. It gives us immunity to fire and cold only. Ah! So it would definitely be a wise choice add acid immunity with our armor. Let's see if it has got if its skills are not a lot worse. Ah, two points less protection. Less defense. Uh, in here we do not... Oh. I should better uncurse it. For melee fighting, it's better to stay with our red dragon scale mail. It's be better stats all in all. Uh, 
But it's definitely cool that if we should get into a situation where we need it, we could always make ourselves immune to acid by equipping this new piece of armor. Oh fuck, I threw it into the wall. These guys keep our hit points down. They are very good at that. Oh! What happened? The frost giant throws the rocks at you and critically hits you down to 2 HP. This is a good time to drink a potion of extra healing. Holy crap! really does not work very good. I'd like to know if we are probably cursed or something like that. However, we are almost done with this vault and I think we should finish it in this run, in this episode. Oh fuck, one comes from behind. And we get hit, of course, we get hit all the time. We are not. Um, we are immune to cold, so we can just run in here. I've got a wand of fire. Find out. Fireballs empty. Fire empty. Well, apparently, we don't have one. This guy's down. Good. their positions all of the time. Kill other enemies. So, did they drop anything? Anything nice or useful? Nope. I'm afraid not. Let's retreat down here. Nice, very good hit. <laughs> ah, but what is very clear is that we have to take good care of our defensive capabilities in fights like these. Against enemies who can do a lot of damage. We just saw what happened when he got his critical hit and that could have killed us. We went down to 2 HP. That's not very much. <laughs> could hardly be less without killing us. <laughs> well, at least, as I said, it's nice training for thrown spares. Also, dagger skill just overtook our club skill, but we'll work on that later. And here is Hagger, the frost giant, Jarl. Let's take a close look at him. Alone of the giant races, those of the cold are not beholden to kings, but to the ruling Jarl, formerly those in power immediately, immediately below the king. The last of the kings was defeated by a uh, by a stripling with little strength and so the position of king lost its honor. The dominant Jarls decided to divide the power amongst themselves until only truly worthy of the title could claim it by defeating all of the Jarls in succession. Since the Jarls came into power only through defeating the great, this task has proven too difficult and so these powerful giants rule their people. Well, that's actually the ordinary Frost Giant Jarl message. We do not, not get to know anything special about Hagger. Well, I'll... But he seems to be neutral at the moment. Is he now our enemy? Yes, he attacks us. So, but we have to take good care when fighting Hagger. 
I'm sure he's even stronger than the ordinary ones of his kind. So hit and run. We were hit once. If I say hit and run, I mean we hit them and then we run, not the other way around. Oh, did we just lose? Oh, no, we did not, luckily. He's already severely injured. Oh, he should be almost down, but now another frost giant berserker gets in the way. We should kill him quickly, probably, if we can. Poison him with our dagger. Nice. Where is Hagar? Where did you go? Oops. Did we kill him? Don't think so. run away? Probably this direction? Can't see him. Ogre King. Oh, fuck. Ogre King is also very... Ah! Oh! What the heck? Nice hit. Good. Oh, and I threw it into the wall again. Crap. So we have to melee the Ogre King, which works better than I thought. Visibility, eat the frost giant berserker. So, still we're looking for Hagger. Went up into this corner. lure the, uh, the frost giant out there without the frost giant berserker falling in. So, I don't know if that was lucky. Probably that berserker was Hagger. Oh, I'm afraid we have to scout the rest of the level and see where he went. Probably he's still somewhere around here. Apart from that, we have cleared the biggest parts of the of the vault, of the level, almost everything. As you can see, some of them are still around. Anything useful in this deck? Not really. that? Hagger, is it you? No, it's not you. Too bad. Again, an ordinary frost giant berserker. It's ordinary. I hate these guys. They are really tough. <laughs> they do lots of damage. <laughs> but what I mean is that they are not enough to finish our quest. Go through the center here. Again, Frost Giant Berserker, but I think uh, Hagger was kind of a little darker age. Right wing duelist. Uh, these guys are annoying to disarming attackers, but we can kill them from a distance. Yeah, what I already found out is that uh, this location has a highly increased chance chance to spawn uh, 
Frost Giants, which is a very nice opportunity to increase your strength if you do not, did not yet reach your potential maximum. Here! Hagger! I found you! <laughs> Excellent! And he's down! Now he is killed! Nice! Oh, did he drop anything nice? Probably. Sickle hand axe. Nothing here. Nothing there. Nope. That's all a load of utter crap. So. However, our quest is done. There is one more thing that I'd like to do in this episode, which is return to the the altar and uh, check, make sure that we are not cursed. Probably we might even reach throne spares level level 9 if we find, meet, find a couple of enemies on the way. We could also consider killing that shopkeeper. Do we want to do that? <laughs> I somehow like to do that. <laughs> yeah, let's go down there. I think with uh, 7 league boots and uh, and uh, the room cover trident, nicely trained, we should be able to kill him. We didn't even start the whole level here. Just found out that there is another door. Frost giant corpse, we will eat that. I hope for a increase to our. Uh, Strength potential. So fine. I think we might really get our increase to a. Uh oh wow, that was a nice hit. Potential learning. We could directly drink that as soon as monster detection. Cool. Shot on those, but now let's go. <laughs> Open the door. Here he is, Gunther the Gnomish shopkeeper. I think I hope we are quicker than Gunther. We are wearing seven league boots. We oh, we are not. Fuck. Um, that means goodbye, Gunther. <laughs> oh crap! I just pressed the wrong button. Um. Teleportation on ourselves, of course. And leave the level. Well, not yet. We could, should probably kill these guys first. Why is Gunther quicker than we are with seven league boots? That's really, really tough. He is a rocket. So, finish him off with the trident. Oh! Hopefully, eating a heavy hit. Yes, that's what we reached. Crap. <coughs> but we've reached level 9. Three range increase and even more damage and to hit bonus for our rune cover trident. Excellent. I'll do that defensively. I think we might as well drink from this pool, but I will not do that until we have made sure that we are not cursed or doomed at the moment. This was a chaotic altar, but I think we had a neutral altar up here on this level. Yes, we have. So let's dig through that wall. We had a pickaxe, didn't we? Yes, of course. Rock resists. Try it again. One, two, three, G. One, two, three, G. That's a doppelganger? No, it's a Dark Sage. Well, it is not hostile. I'll kill it anyway. 
So I think there is no real need to close these doors. Still, um, we want a lot of piety, I think. I'll 24, 8, 29. That's what I sacrifice first. Favors you greatly. I guess that's all we can get at the moment. So we were not cursed in the first place. That means let's go down and drink from that pool, probably getting our wish in the end. <laughs> drink. Blood cools down. Swallow heart. I think we just lost acid resistance. Small frog. Nothing happens, pool dries out. Well, that was nothing. <laughs> If we have to fight acid monsters, we will wear our black dragon scale mail anyway. Let us also status ID all the stuff we found are down there. Have we got all our water blessed? That's the most... No, we don't. That's what I expected. Oceans of water. I just... Oh, that scrolls. I just saw these potions of water here. Six potions of water. Not yet blessed. So, excellent. We are done with the Frost Giant Cave. And I think we did quite well. We got a heavy beating from a couple of them. Took lots and lots and lots of damage. But we survived. Wait. Ah! One more time. I almost forgot I wanted to buy a lot of potions down here. I'll buy raw mana and water and water. And kill the Ogre King. Carefully. And I'll buy a rust removal. Not healing, but poison and uselessness. Wonder. Carrot juice. Throw blood. Training. <laughs> Boost mana. Boost. Invisibility, probably not, but uselessness. I I'll also buy invisibility. Sickness. Raw mana. Water, education, and water. So, I buy almost your complete shop. I hope I get something like a nice release on the price. Oh, 11,000. Fuck you. <laughs> Luckily, I thought of that. That's really a nice supply of helpful potions. So, time to leave this dungeon again. And I guess, next thing we do... Get a reward from the Queen. But I think that's what we're going to start the next episode with. With. So, thanks to all of you for watching. I hope you still enjoyed the series. Th thanks for all the great hints I get all of the time. And I hope to see you again in the next episode. Until then, bye everybody.